What's up guys, Hey King here bringing you another live reaction to uh, the E3 2019 reactions. Uh, so yeah, uh, this one is for the Final Fantasy VII trailer that's uh, been released. Uh, let's see if we can get it up and running. Uh, it's somewhere here. Uh, and there we go. So yeah, the Bethesda conference was shit. There's there's no other way to word it than it was shit. I mean that was terrible. Just just a, just a whole bunch of idiots cheering for pointless crap. That, that's what it felt like to me. Like I wouldn't be surprised if half the people there were bought out by them or just employees in the back. And stop messing with the camera. Stop touching the tripod, you little shit. Move. Move! Move, you furry little thing of death! Move! My, my cat's messing with the tripod. Um, this is unexpected. Let's see if I can move it a bit. Uh, how do I rotate this camera? Oh, there, there we go. That's how you rotate it, Emma. Uh, 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 now he's just touching the other part. Like, what the hell was the point of that? Okay, let me see. Put it like that. This video is going a lot longer than I, I wanted. Oh no, now he's just jumped out from the curtains and just continuing to. Stop! Stop it! Stop! Stop! Bad kitty! Bad kitty! I'm tempted to just like grab him and just sit him here. Just to annoy him because he's annoying me. Move, move. I had to call him Loki, didn't I? That's my mistake. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go then, guys. Let's just let's just go on with the trailer then. Um, hopefully it's good. And apparently the release date's been revealed, but um, March was it? So let's see, let's see. Um, start in in three, two, one. Straight up. These sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. You think he's a keeper? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> This couldn't have been us. But what if it was? What's done is done. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. This was just the first reactor. Uh, help me! Help me with what? What's going on? Oh. What the hell is that? That's new. That's different. March the 3rd, 2020. Available worldwide. So there's there's rumors that are saying that this game's gonna be two parts. Like there was a leak a few days ago or a few weeks ago that said this game would be would be two parts. Uh no idea how legit that leak was, but it would be cool if that's the case. Like like paying paying for two games like 40 pounds, each 40 pounds, 50 pounds. That's that's fine uh, as long as it's got a lot of content in it. Like if if it's true that the first part is gonna go from Midgard all the way to a certain character's death, um, that that's cool. Like because that's that's a lot of uh, story, character, and gameplay there. Like if you played the original, you know how much is crammed into that segment. You know what I mean? And then obviously part three would be part two. In this case, would be the rest of the game. Like and that's a lot of content as well. Like so that would be pretty. Pretty radical, as one would say. No, that would be pretty cool. Um, but, I don't know. Part of me feels like they're going to pull a, a free episodic thing with this. Like, the first part's going to be Midgard. And then the second part's going to be all of that leading up to that death. And then the final part. Like, I, I hope that's not the case. But I've got a weird feeling they're going to pull a stunt like that. And they're going to call it the Final Fantasy VII Remake Trilogy or something. So, um... 
I hope I'm wrong. And what, what's worse, what, what annoys me most is if, if both, if, if it is, if it's, that's the case and they release all the games and then we just end up getting like a, a bundle with all games on one disc or something, that would just be like, <sighs> you know what I mean, with new features and that, that, that's the worst thing they can do for a game. Like, it's sort of like what they did with Final Fantasy 15. I bought the Royal Edition like last year and I still haven't played it, but um, the, the original game was, was, was I enjoyed, but I, I really want to get into playing the Royal Edition with all the features in there, but that's one of the things that annoys me because it's like, see, that's the version of the game we should have played and waited for instead of that that we got. Um, it looks cool, I can't wait. It's it's crazy that it's been, what, four, four years and now it's going to come out next year, so that's five years, like, since this game was announced, like, it's crazy, 2015 feels like such a long time ago, but, uh, there you go, man, uh, all that waiting, and now we're finally getting it, because, uh, there was a lot of worries that this game wasn't going to come out for PS4, but, nope, nope, it's, it's coming out for PS4. The big question is, is if, if this is going to be episodic, are the rest of the episodes going to be on PS4? And that's kind of the worrying, but I assume, I assume it will, because they're not just going to stop, uh, making, uh, cross, uh, Gen uh, cross system games like so obviously a lot of games that are still coming up for PS4 if if we end up getting like the next gen consoles will come out on those consoles as well and the current ones before we start getting exclusives for those consoles specifically but uh yeah um can't wait I can't wait definitely looking forward to this remake anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that as always like and subscribe whatever and I shall see you when I shall see you take it and bye